India is the world's second largest steel producing country, generating around 19 million tons of steel slag as solid waste. This figure is projected to increase to a staggering 60 million tons by 2030, with each ton of steel production resulting in about 200 kilograms of steel slag waste. The lack of efficient disposal methods has led to the accumulation of huge slag piles around steel plants, contributing to water, air and land pollution. To address this issue, Central Road Research Institute CRRI, New Delhi, in collaboration with JSW Steel Limited, one of the largest steel manufacturing companies in India, making significant strides towards the Waste to Wealth mission. The Waste to Wealth is one of the nine national missions of Prime Minister's Science, Technology and Innovation Advisory Council. This mission will assist and augment Swachh Bharat leading to productive and sustainable waste utilization in the country to create circular economic model ensuring financially viable waste management model in the country. The Mumbai Goba National Highway in its 66 is one of the highest rainfall recorded area in Maharashtra. During the monsoon the rainwater penetrate through the pavement due to which the subgrade volume increase and various distresses like cracks, potholes, depressions, rutting, reveling, etc. appears on pavement of flexible road. By keeping this challenge in mind, NHAI, National Highway Authority of India, JSW and CRRI had implemented the steel slack technology at National Highway NH66 Mumbai Goba. A one kilometer long four lane on Indapur Panvel section have been constructed by using bituminous and cement concrete steel slag road. This road has been inaugurated by Dr. V. K. Saraswat, member SNT Niti Ayog in January 2024. The best advantage of this technology is that it reduces our use of natural aggregates, which is hazardous for the climate. So we are actually moving in the direction of sustainability. Plus, whatever is the space occupied by large storage of steel slags in the various steel plants will get vacated and that space can be utilized better. JSW Steel under the CSIR Central Road Research Institute's technological guidance had constructed this road by using 80,000 tons of Konark steel slag were converted as process steel slag aggregates at JSW Steel Dolby Raigarh plant. The process steel slag aggregates are superior to natural aggregates in terms of various mechanical properties and utilized for steel slag road construction in all layers of the road in place of natural aggregates. The road has bituminous and cement concrete steel slag road section at same location in RHS and LHS carriageways. On this road section, the process steel slag aggregates and slag cement have been utilized for construction of the cement concrete road in all layers. Abhi hum Mumbai गोवा रोड के ऊपर खड़े हुए हैं पनमेल से इंदापुर सेक्शन में और मेरे पीछे जो सड़क आप देख रहे हैं ये इंडिया की पहली कंप्लीट स्टील स्लैग रोड है जो जेएसडब्ल्यू डोलवी प्लांट से एग्रीगेट जो आए हैं स्टील स्लैग उससे बनी है इसकी खासियत यह है कि इसमें नेचुरल एग्रीगेट को 100% स्टील स्लैग एग्रीगेट से रिप्लेस किया है और ओपीसी या पीपीसी सीमेंट को भी स्टील सीमेंट से स्लैग सीमेंट से यूज किया है इससे 28% से 30% की सेविंग हुई है सड़क की थिकनेस में और करीब 50 किलो पर क्यूबिक मीटर सीमेंट की भी सेविंग हुई है जिसमें अभी जो रिजल्ट आए हैं ये मार्च में इसको हमने ले किया था और दो महीने में इसके ऊपर पूरा एनएच का हैवी लोड इसके ऊपर आया है और सड़क की परफॉर्मेंस अभी तक एकदम परफेक्ट है और इससे ऐसा लग रहा है कि ये स्टील सीमेंट अब हम लार्ज स्केल पर अपने सड़कों में यूज़ कर पाएंगे During the steel making process inside the JSW plant, 
the slag is generated from a steel furnace burning at around 1500 to 1600 degrees centigrade in the form of molten flux material as an impurity. The molten material is poured into the slag pits for cooling as per the customized procedure and further process to develop stable steel slag aggregates with better material properties in place of natural aggregate commonly used in road constructions. Steel slag is crushed and screened to produce aggregates of suitable size for bituminous concrete. JSW steel plants under its green initiative are carrying out valorization of waste steel slag as processed steel slag aggregates for road making. The valuable byproduct of steel slag will reduce the reliance on natural aggregates for road construction and maintenance works. It will also reduce unsustainable quarrying and mining for rocks for aggregates. A mixed design is conducted by the team of scientists from CRRI to determine the optimal proportions of steel slag aggregates, bitumen and other materials. The mixed design aims to achieve the required properties such as stability, durability and resistance to deformation under traffic loads for both bitumen and cement slag aggregates. The steel slag aggregates, bitumen and other materials are mixed thoroughly in an asphalt plant. The mixing process ensures that the aggregates are coated evenly with the bitumen forming a homogeneous mixture. On the other side, JSW cement from JSW plant is commonly used in steel slag cement concrete production. The steel slag cement aggregates and water are mixed in a concrete mixer. It is essential to ensure a uniform distribution of materials through the mix. The hot steel slag bituminous mix is transported to the construction site in insulated trucks to maintain its temperature. It is then placed and compacted on the prepared roadbed using asphalt pavers and rollers. Mumbai Goa steel slag road section is the first national highway road in India which is built completely with processed steel slag aggregates. Around 80,000 ton processed Konark steel slag aggregates are utilized as a 100% substitute of natural aggregate for the construction of cement concrete and bituminous steel slag road section in front of JSW steel Dolby plant. The CSIR Central Road Research Institute Research Laboratory has conducted various research and tests to analyze the physical and mechanical strength of a steel slag aggregate to ensure it meets the required specifications for road construction. The most important durability tests such as grain size distribution, abrasion and crushing resistance are conducted to assess the long-term performance of steel slag concrete under adverse environmental conditions. The volumetric stability of the slag is also verified by an expansion test. Field core samples can be extracted from the road surface to assess the in situ strength of the steel slag pavement. These samples can be tested for compressive strength and other relevant properties. The compressive strength is a critical parameter for evaluating the load bearing capacity of the road. Marshall tests were conducted to determine the volumetric properties of the mixture. The split tensile strength of the steel slag aggregate by applying a tensile force perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of cylindrical specimens. Split tensile strength is an essential parameter for evaluating the cracking and rotting resistance of the material. According to CRRI, the construction cost of the processed steel slag road is 30% cheaper than roads built from natural aggregates. The thickness of the road is also 30% lesser than normal ones, while the durability is much longer due to better physical and mechanical properties of steel slag aggregates.
At JSW Steel, uh, we believe in redefining waste management through innovative solutions. Under the technological guidance of uh, CSIR, CRRI, steel slag road built by JSW Steel is one such example for waste to wealth conversion. The steel slag road technology eliminates the need to use natural materials, helping in conserving valuable resources and preserve the natural ecosystem for a sustainable tomorrow. For last one year, around 3,000 commercial vehicles carrying 28 to 30 ton payload are plying this section on everyday basis. Despite such heavy traffic condition, this section is completely in sound condition and performing very well on various serviceability parameters. This section is built with instrumented strain gauge and deflection sensors and CSIR CRRI are continuously monitoring its performance to develop the national standards and guidelines. Unlocking the hidden potential of steel slag for building the greener tomorrow. This technology is outstanding. The work done by Dr. Pandey, by Parida ji and all the team of CRI and the team of JSW who have converted this technology into a commercial product and the NHAI which has been responsible for giving us the opportunity to lay down in this particular segment is laudable and I would like to congratulate all of them. The success of the steel slag road technology has attracted the attention of various government agencies and ministries. In collaboration with the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, the Ministry of Steel is actively working to promote the widespread usage of this technology across the country by fostering collaborative efforts by CSIR, CRRI, JSW and NHAI aims to lead the way in sustainable road infrastructure development and achieve its Waste to Wealth mission.